Oh, and then there's six right here. So maybe we'll go to Princess Peach's castle real quickly and just get our bearings and establish our new character of Yoshi and get him all decked out and stuff here is what I'm thinking. But yeah, we've been hyping up Bowser Jr. as a big threat. He's simply a mid boss. Yeah, you know, we have Bowser Jr. this entire game instead of Bowser for uh for like the main threat because Bowser's on vacation and he's like phoning his kiddo and making sure he's okay. So that makes you wonder who's the main big bad going to be at the end of this if it's not Bowser Jr. But yeah, uh, this game's given it a lot of crap, but the, well, it, gave, it was given a lot of crap before it came out. After it came out, I don't think it was given as much crap anymore because people actually played it and were like, whoa, this game's actually good. Um, but yeah, like, can judge a game by actually playing it yourself or just uh, not determining, you know, just the premise, essentially, I guess. Unless, like, the premise is, unless there's actually, like, a direct issue with the premise that means that like the game can't do certain things like i have an issue with the premise of uh the pokemon diamond and pearl quote unquote remasters because they don't advance the series forward unlike every other pokemon remake where the freaking uh you know actually moved the series forward and was a new original title disguised as a remake but that game just looks like it's a direct scale up remaster and meh so like if the premise has a reason to take issue with it like not advancing a series where every single remake has always continued to advance a series, then you can take issue with that premise. But, you know, something that seems unlikely and strange is not necessarily a bad premise, you know? So, there's that. Wait, what's... or listening to critics? What now? What now is? Um... I swear, it... I don't know if anyone else feels the same, but... I thought it was just a thing with my headset headphones. It's happening with my earbuds as well. When I switch, the sound of my left ear is slightly different than right ear. I don't know if that's a game thing or if that's a headphone thing. Or what the hell it is. But it's something, I guess. Um, let's see here. So we could boost the protection range. Well, we protect even more, sure. Um, bodyguard. Hmm. Hmm. Would you rather have another direct port of the game? What, for, uh, Diamond Pearl Platinum? I'd rather have a proper remake that expands on modern standards like every other Pokemon remake that was ever made. And that's what the question is. But, uh... Sh sure. It's probably gonna be decently important there. Alright, so Yoshi here. Let's see. Yeah, so there's the ground pound uh, team jump. There's the rocket launcher. And there's the super chance. Alright, so then. Like, movement's gonna be important. I'll get both the movement ones. Uh, movement out of pipe is important too, so I'll get both those. Uh, there's a super... Super chance range. Um, egg beater damage, so that's the equivalent of the hero sight thing where Bob. Um, and you can bring it down to two turns. Um, that one to say you can't please everyone, God, please a big crowd. Just happy to be able to play the game with an emulator or paying a hundred dollars or more for the original. But if Nintendo actually supported their classic games and made something like the virtual console like they were developing for a few years, you would still be able to play the original game and pick it up for something like 10, 20 bucks. Instead of being forced to play pay full price for the only other way to play it. Like your choice is taken away with the Nintendo purposefully causing a classic game drought. So that when they offer you a full price glass of water, it's like, oh, this is great because it's the only option. So I think it's kind of scummy business tactics. I just released a video essay a couple days ago on this subject and it, uh, expands the area of Yoshi's ground pound. Sure, let's do those, I suppose. Damage dealt by ground pound and damage dealt by dash. Um, hmm. Like the cell range here. We'll do the cooldown there cool down here range of team jump is going to be important for that sure let's do all those i suppose is what we can do on that front um meta port in the same style of skyward sword hd but but the original games weren't even uh 3d there were parts of them that were 3d but uh so a port that would be over like that would just be them actually supporting classic games Unless it was a port over and it was still full price and it's like, oh, what the hell? 
But if it was like a direct port over and it was something like 10, 20 bucks and like a virtual console kind of situation, that'd be great. But Nintendo would rather do these freaking disservices with a uh, good old Nintendo Online and all that freaking stuff. It's wacky, man. Sure, I'll just do this. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it feels like a lot of a... Uh... Eh. That's not that important there. Um, it does feel like a lot of companies, especially like the AAA gaming space in general, is just kind of trying to find more ways to, uh, you know, manipulate their player base into buying things they'd normally never buy. Like, again, that was my recent video essay that I posted, but uh, I've been thinking about making a video essay about, like, the AAA gaming space in general, potentially. And, you know, what's happened to the AAA gaming space. I'll probably do it at some point. I am worried about not being able to do the subject proper justice. I probably won't do these, because it's only, like, a... Well, plus 10% for, uh... The super effects is nice, but I probably won't worry about doing it for now. Like, we'll probably just get the items that we get for uh, beating the game. Which I guess will be, like, these final two. That's what we'll do. Alright, let's see here. Carpe diem. This ornamental light gun symbolizes love, friendship, and crushing your enemies faster than a pot full of carp can eat a watermelon. Sons of Buonarchy. This road-ripping ro road light gun is as quick, dependable, and smooth as the street bobbers it was inspired by. Alrighty then. We'll have a look at the new weapons anyway. Sucker puncher. It's a unanimous verdict. Your enemies suck. Toxic truncheon. Don't let things mushroom out of control on the battlefield. This poisonous pole hammer leaves a bad taste in your foe's mouth every time. And we got the freaking Peeper Reaper. That uh was one of the ones that we got like along the way and such. Um, never understood why we referred to Bowser with the crown power up as Bowser. Feel like Peach would be more fitting. It was because it was Peachette because of the game that introduced the Super Crown with a. Uh, freaking new super mario bros on the switch was uh if toad gets the if toadette sorry gets the thing where bob she becomes peachette or something like that i guess you're just assuming like taking that and uh putting like the end of bowser's name on the end of it to make more sense but people are just like oh toad toadette freaking bowser bowsette even though you know it has nothing to do with toadette at that point but uh but i guess that's what it was there so nothing new there um, Pichu and Pichupa Troopa? <laughs> Heck, things I never thought I'd hear. Ballistic Mystic, that's the thing that we got there. Um, Wizard Hat used to make this was originally bought at a souvenir set in amusement park in New Jersey. Still, it's pretty magical. Um, run for the hills. The hills are alive with the sound of your enemy's suffering. Pay the piper. Crush your enemy's pipe dream of defeating you in combat. Let's see here, new secondary thing more bobs. Uh, so let's see here, Road Reaper. Blah, the license plate. Uh, put the pedal to the metal and conflict on cruise control with this highway harbinger of pain. And a sleigh at the beach? Instead of a stay at the beach. It's a drone that's beach themed and it's called a sleigh at the beach. Makes even, makes even the most grueling battles feel like a day at the beach. Don't forget the sunblock. I freaking love this game. Does it increase the... Oh. Maybe it is important to get a new drone, because look, it's a freaking... Like, these are two-tile AoEs. Like, we start out with a one-tile AoE. Our current one that we have equipped is a two-tile AoE. But the new ones are a three-tile AoE. So it's probably actually pretty important. Huh. I guess we'll upgrade those ones. I do like the ink more on the drones. <laughs> as much as I like a slay at the beach. But there's no secondaries here with three tiles. So just Luigi on... Just Luigi there, it seems like. All right. Marble Marauder. You'll be paying, playing for keepsies when you knuckle down with this Agata Elemental. And Cactus Fracas filling needle by your antagonist? Just bring it, Just bring this high antioxidant elemental to bloom on the battlefield. Damage drought over. All righty. So what have we here? We have Mushroom Marauder. That's one that we collected somewhere. Um, yeah, I I assume that the developers probably had so much fun making the weapons for this game. I love how even characters that have the same weapon types as one another have completely different like weapon names and descriptions and looks and all that fun stuff. Big Cat. Enemies will look like something the cat dragged in after they tangle with this tiger. Um, oh, and this does increase like short range as well. So maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll increase these as well. Uh, don't get salty with your enemies. Just whip out this symbol of summer and let it spit sunflower power. Sure, we'll 
upgrade our shotguns as well then for that stuff here. We got Bullion Bill, unleash a 24 karat cannonade at your foes with this gilded grump that gives new meaning to the word payload. Let's go before the special agent boys arrest you for dissing at me. Enjoy your stream. All right. Hope you have a good rest of the day there, Reggie Bump. Um, smack roll. <laughs> then catch of the day, 1.9 kilograms of delicious enemy butt kicking. It's the smack roll. <laughs> Heavy art artillery. Unleashes a powerful volley of fragrant full of saints at your lily livered opponents. I think I gotta go with the smackerel, even just with the name. Like, oh my goodness, there's the king! Five nights at Freddy's! Uh, okay, so we don't really have anything big new there by any means. Um, let's see here. We have Pinwheel. Don't let its whimsical hat fool you. This Grand Duck is all business when it pedals onto the battlefield. And there's more range for these things as well. We upgrade as well. Sir Crackers. The Noble Knight Sir Crackers is taking a solemn oath to kick your enemy's patooies. I can't, I can't turn down Sir Crackers. I can't. Gotta go ahead and do that there. Um, do we ever read this one? Big finish? The soundtrack to enemy's destruction is the final countdown to their doom. Renegade is only one function. We read that one before for sure, and there's nothing else new here. And yeah, this is the one that we really wanted to go through was Yoshi stuff. Egg creamer. Cream your enemies with this high cholesterol cackleberry. Last dance. Party's over. Time for enemies to hustle out the door. Hot stuff's coming through. Wait. Brahmageddon. The final blockading is here. Are your enemies prepared? <laughs> so we have ink and freeze are the two options with uh with the Yoshi. We'll probably go with ink, most likely. Surly Temple. Start with spite for your enemies, add a splash of vengeance and garnish with some ill will, and you've got a sweetheart of a weapon. We have Crossfire Castle. Tower above the competition, then send their hopes for victory to the deepest, darkest pit of your dungeon and throw away the key. We have Rainbow Roaster. Don't be fooled by this mighty meteorological marvel's beauty. The only color spectrum your enemies will see is black through blue. Hostile Voxel. This is the one we have for free, so might as well put it on for now. Um, weapon that could put an end to the eternal dilemma. Which came first, the pixel or the voxel? So that's probably like the best thing that we have right now. Well, it, there's more damage here anyway. Um, just, uh, this is 12 cells. So we'll stick with that. We'll stick with that for now. We have the Super, Super Blazooka. The inventors behind this rocket managed to distill the destructive energies of 1,000 rabbits into a single concentrated weapon. We have Brush with Mortality. Your enemies will bristle after you give them a brush off with his rigor rocket. Be sure to clean it with, with paint thinner when finished. Song of Kong. An appealing option when opponents are tone deaf to your cries for victory. This baby's roar will get them singing a different tune in no time. Now we have the Candy Striper Sniper. Packs a powerful peppermint punch that leaves foes defeated, disoriented, but with a, a delightful minty aftertaste. We're probably gonna want the ink. Wait, there's other new things here? Oh gosh darn it, this one's just straight up better. Well, I just wasted coins on that, whatever. Direly Dulcet Doomslayer. When not using this in combat, you can play old gramophone hits like Deanne from Sheon or the Hobo Wedding Waltz. You what now? Well, <laughs> there we go. We got the weapon situation figured out. So I guess we'll go back to world four again now. This is what we shall do with our new party member here. With our new party member of Yoshi until I should have switched up my party to include Yoshi. Now that we have the full squad, the full squad of eight, the full team, and we're now totally at the ready to beat the game. It's great to stay behind yada 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 yada. Go pet the stress relief doggy for a second. Takes a while to load World 4. Rabbit Yoshi's scaredy rapid will trigger other heroes' reaction shots. Yes. Yes, indeed it will. So we're back. So, we're probably going to want to change up our team to like... Like, we're going to want Yoshi in here. So, uh, did we ever read the description on Rabbit Yoshi? Best utilize lashing out with heavy weapons at long ranges, arsenal includes melee skills, assault, defense, and a cool victory dance. But we've probably read it before. Uh, offense, defense, and mobility. Uh, in her new role as a defender in address versus damsel in distress. Versus peace strikes and X balance between offense, defense, and mobility. Um, yeah, we've read a lot of them at least. 
So let's see here. Yoshi is a long range specialist who belongs behind the front lines where he can deliver a power packed punch from afar. Loves fruit. <laughs> Got the rumble bang and rocket. All that fun stuff. Oh, Yoshi's so cute. Um, so we can do like Yoshi long range specialist and close range specialist. Sure. Sure. And then Mario's kind of our all rounder. I can do both. All right, reunited. So look, we have Spawny in the squad now, who's, uh, it's gonna be like escort missions, kind of like Toad. Except now we have Spawny, who has his or her own health, which is more than Mario and Rapid Mario, because the health is one of the things that I've, like, prioritized upgrading some of the least. Oop. Super secret, that was the only breakable one around here. Turn the camera here now, finally. What's going on with that dude over there, huh? So, where would I move this to solve a thing? Do I need to solve a puzzle around here? Some sort? Whoops. What did I just do? What? Where would moving any of these do anything for me? I don't get it. I'm just gonna go to the level, I guess, or something. All right. All right. Escort Spawny. Here we go. And now we've got Yoshi in the squad. The Yosh. This guy got Spawny there to win. All right, let's see. Let's see. So yeah, Yoshi, when he team jumps, he'll do his... Oh my goodness, that ground pound, though. It's a little bit cray-cray. I mean, we can do the, uh, the pull, pull in from here, right? Does it have that much range? Yes, it does. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, you went that way around, you freaking psychopath. Ah, oh, but you still got same, same distance close enough anyway. Kaboom! Well, there we go. Okay, so good old Yosh over here. Look how wide this range is. It's downright silly. I was always super scared to use Yoshi, and that's why. He destroys cover around him if it's not indestructible. I thought it said it was 100%. I guess it is if I do this. And just like uh, Rabbit Yoshi. Yep. <laughs> that's still the place to store it. All right, let's try it. Look at its range, though. Look, it's AOE, that is. Kaboom. Okay. Yeah, I was always scared about using using Yoshi in my, in my teams because I'm afraid of his ground pound just destroying cover. And with his insane range, it could potentially hit teammates as well. It's a massive concern. Is there anybody that actually will schmoove schmoove and get into range? Yeah, I guess so. We'll use Egg Beater, sure. Sure, we can go ahead and try it out. Oh, darn it. Well, we'll go here. Okay. Darn it. Darn it. Ah! Does this not count as half cover, really? Ah! Get some better later. We'll get somewhere better later, I guess. I can potentially use M power next time. Darn it! Darn. So now we're chilling here, huh? Time to die! Oop. Take a bunch of damage at least. Yeah, so there's their ground pound thing the Bob, which is the same thing that Yoshi has. I love that across like your cast and across the enemy's cast. Even though they're very different classes, you still have like the same abilities. Like that's a universal thing. I do like that. Yeah, I won't be able to stomp anybody or anything unless, uh... What our team jump make it that far? Um... I don't really want to put anybody right there, so it's probably not a good idea anyway. Probably not a very good plan regardless. You know what? I'll do this. I'll do that. Sure. And we'll go here. 
Just like that with Yoshi's help. And then we go ahead and smack Ryu. Okay. And then maybe Yoshi can uh wait. Okay, you can make it to Mario as well. Spawny's in range of that, so I'll go ahead and move Spawny first. Ah, oh, freaking the open, really? Well. Well. Sucks to suck, I guess. Let's move Yoshi first. Get this ground pound. And we can still get there on, like, shotgun if we want to. Sure, we'll be in the, uh, open there. But maybe it'll make the enemies go after us rather than, uh... Than after freaking... Spawny, you know? It's really even Mr. Ghosty Guy alive. You can probably go, like, here. Can even use the hammer there. That's what we could do. I was just thinking lining up for a shotgun, actually. This is what I was thinking. Yeah, dang it. I won't be able to hit you. Oh, but that'll hit Yoshi. Gosh, diggity darn it. And maybe. And maybe it's time to do this. So, we can do that. Because now we have a 100% chance for super effect, just like that. So that just guarantees that we take them both out. Yoshi, in the meantime, will get for sure the high damage range. Super effect because of the critical. Which we for sure get because of the uh, thing with Bob. Okay, yeah. We're fine. We're fine for now, I guess. That actually moved us closer. We took some damage, but it actually straight up moved us closer. Is the thing. So, uh... Or Valkyries. Might need to use Rabbit Peach on the next level of this set to be able to heal. I'll go here and I'll hero sight it. That's what I'll do. Yeah, go ahead and hero sight. We should just win next turn. Should be able to. I can chill here, yeah. Rabbit Mario can stick close by just in case. Even though there's probably no point because we'll just go there and win next turn and it'll be fine. But, you know, I'm a bit crazy about feeling like things are always going to still go wrong somehow. So it'll be super safe regardless. Dang. If only they were both crits. If only. Ow. Mean. So I guess infinite Valkyries would just spawn there at the at the end. Uh, look at... what well, I was like, how did Spawny get so much movement? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Battle cleared. Perfect. Yeah, Yoshi's interesting, to say the least. But I'm always, like, way too scared to use him. Because I feel like he's just gonna destroy all the cover. <laughs> Quite frankly. So I never really used Yoshi all that much in the past. I was real afraid. I was real afeared. So we can do... Stuff like this. How did I get that? I move in the blue, I guess? Hmm. Hmm. Boobity bop. So if we instead switch to this one. Like this. Does this do anything for us? Maybe? Hmm. So, then we can do the green. I don't know about that item, but uh, we can do the green like this. And we can get through here. Over to here. But then to get that mushroom, we need to do... Is there a thing that we can do? None of these blue panels are... Okay, never mind. Now there's a couple connected. Huh, but then what? But well, then what the heck? I can always change up my team, I guess. Mushroom's not too important. 
I suppose we can just do a different team. Maybe my main team. Maybe, maybe. Get lots of coins and stuff. Oh, I need that one statue for the thing Bob. This is just the way back? That's just the way back, okay. Just curious was all. Just a little bit curious about that. Yeah, I'll figure that out another time if I do decide to 100% it. I'll figure it out later, I suppose. If we even 100%, I don't know if I will. That opens this, and this is what now? Just the thing down here? I need to... Oh. Oh. I need to do this. Okay. Boop. I hear a rabbit around like I could inspect it. Oh. Look at them. Life's a blood beach, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's not dangerous at all. Until it wouldn't fry to a crisp in no time at all. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah. More things. Reaper of moles. I am the Reaper of moles. That is what they called me. Weird thing to be called. Nah, I still can't get all the things until we beat the game anyway. Big sad. Very big sad. Mushroom tunnel. Mushroom tunnel. Mushroom tunnel. Through the mountains. Mushroom, mushroom, mushroom tunnel. Okay. You know, in some, you know, in some other news, so apparently like soonish in the near future, I have an aunt from the States that's going to be coming and staying over here for a while. And uh, like, I, I thought that she was like visiting mostly to see like my grandparents on this, my dad's side of the family side that she's from there. Let's just tell me that the mushroom slime is either deadly poison or candy. Too bad you can't look it to find out. And I was under the impression that she'd be like staying with them. And, uh, or like in some other places. Apparently, she's staying here for a week. So, uh, you know. So that's, uh, I only found that out today. So when it comes to, like, my flamboyantness and, like, <laughs> singing things like a mushroom tunnel, I don't know. I might have to quiet down a bit more from doing late night chilling. And a little while from now, I guess, or something like that. So, uh, you know, that was something I was surprised to hear. Um, let's just go with the main squad. That's what I'm most used to. I forgot to, like, pay attention to the tactic camp kind of stuff. Yeah, let's just go, I guess, is what we shall do. So, there's that. And it's like, my mom's side of the family, I'm pretty close to. Like, they're the side that I've grown up with the most and, uh, I've spent the most time with, and a lot of them are, like, local here. My dad's side of the family is, like, around in the area, not in the same city I live, but, like, a few different, like, close-by places that you can make it in, like, an hour or two drive. But because of that, we usually only see one other during, like, family gatherings, and that's really it. I'm not quite as close to that side of the family, and, uh... I'm someone that's not religious, like, at all, and they're actually very quite religious, and, uh... I don't know, they make me kind of uncomfortable sometimes, so, uh... It, that'll be a time when they're over. Let's just say that. It'll be a time. So, we'll see how that goes, I guess. We'll see. Yeah, you can't go up there, can you? I may as well get my drone on the field. That's what I may as well do. Hello, hello, hogs. Watch out for the rabbits that can't be trusted. We can trust the ones that are in our team, though. Hope you're streaming a stream earlier went well. I heard Anima said that stuff was pretty, pretty alrighty there. Let's see. Well, I guess we'll go here. We'll slowly be making our way down to Funky Town. Should I set up Luigi at like a sniper spot up there? Is that what I should do? Like get him to steely stare here or something? Mm hmm. If only I had like an AOE grenade to throw over there or something. We can set him up here, I guess. I am a little bit worried about this cover getting destroyed. Wow. And then him getting smack rude. Really? My light? Gosh, diggity darn it. Three of them are ghosty dudes. I'd only be able to steely stare the one. I might be able to freaky steely stare these guys if they come on down, so it might still be worth it. Oh. Come on, win the 50 50. Let's go. Hmm. 
Oh, sight. Can I not attack the cover? I'm putting this up. They might teleport on over and be weird and stuff. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Well, I'll tighten my scarf here. Completely despite rather chill with some DVD killer matches and some matches with Anima. Went great, though. Good to hear. Good to hear that it was pretty spicy, spicy. I tuned in and was lurking during some of your Spider-Man stuff, but I think all the times that I happened to be tuning in was times that you were getting frustrated, which was kind of unfortunate, you know? So I hope that, like, that passed and such. This was a little while back, though. It wasn't... It wasn't my streams today. I was freaking doing other stuff today. Uh oh This is actually concerning. What the hell? Please? Please just attack the drone? What the hell? Spawny was behind a full cover a second ago. 